Until now, the CCP has not yet disclosed the federal data for the last quarter of 2022, once again raising speculation about whether this is related to the CCP's attempt to conceal the number of deaths caused by the pandemic. According to the Epoch Times, the Ministry of Civil Affairs of the CCP usually releases quarterly data on marriages, divorces, and cremated remains within three months. However, as of now, the official data for the fourth quarter has not been announced. The latest data available is from August 2022, and the data for the months of September to December has not been released. The Ministry of Civil Affairs of the CCP has not provided any explanation for this delay. In January of this year, the Beijing Civil Affairs Bureau also did not release the data of cremated remains for the fourth quarter, and this is also unprecedented. In early December last year, the CCP suddenly lifted all lockdown measures, and the sharp increase in deaths around that time overwhelmed the crematoriums in China. However, the official announced death toll during the period from December 7, 2022 to January 8 this year was less than 40 cases in total. Under international pressure on January 14th, the National Health Commission of the CCP reported a total of 49,938 COVID deaths during the period from December 8, 2022 to January 12, 2023. Recently, screenshots of WeChat conversations circulating on social media reveal that the CCP is demanding the deletion of all all information and the records related to the pandemic, including records used to track people's travel history, COVID testing results, Austin registration forms, infection statistics, daily reports, quarantine records, various COVID-related apps, etc. These various signs indicate that the CCP is systematically eliminating all information and records related to the pandemic in order to conceal its origins and prevent international accountability for this outbreak.